What is up, Wanderers? It is time for another One Take Bag review. And we've got a treat for you. We are reviewing the Blue Lounge Vertical Tote. And this is one of the most requested reviews from the Wall of Bags. All right, so we're gonna get into it right after this. All right, guys, so you know, in all of my videos behind me, we have the wall of bags. And lots of people in the comments ask a question, not about the video that uh, we're doing, but what is that bag? What is that bag behind you? One of the most requested bags that people wanna know about is this vertical tote. This is the uh, vertical tote, and uh, I'm going to put a link in the comments and in the video description to where you can buy this bag from a company called Blue Lounge, okay? And so this is a company that uh, really rose up about, gosh, 10-ish years ago, um, and it was a super tech-focused, kind of along the same lines as InCase, um, and one of their biggest products were, you know, cable cord ties, and so they would make um, cord ties for, um, uh, headphones and for uh, iPhone cords and cables. So cable management was kind of their bag um, and then just kind of desk management and clutter management uh, for tech products. All really good stuff. And in fact, I used to religiously use their earbud um, holders uh, before I got my AirPods. So good company, makes good stuff. And they dabbled for a while in bags and they made quite a few different kinds of bags this one in particular caught my eye because, I mean, look at it. It's a beautiful bag and it is super well made. What do you have going on here? Well, let's do our one, bat, our one take review. We do two things that we love about the bag after the walkthrough, two things that we don't love about the bag, and then a recommendation about should you purchase this bag. So what's going on with this bag? First off, you need to know they don't make it anymore, but you can still buy it pretty easily. It is widely available and you can get it as of this review in 2022, even off Amazon. So link again in the description. Let's do our walkthrough. You have on the outside of this bag, a really nice waxed canvas um, on the bag itself. Um, and then down bottom, you have some leather, you have nylon uh, details, you have a stainless steel, or excuse me, an aluminum um, carabiner attached to the outside of the bag. Um, let's do our pockets. You have hidden here one slip pocket, horizontal, and then in between the straps, you have a drop pocket, um, which I have found to be very useful. Underneath the actual straps here, you have water bottle pocket on each side, on both sides. And so point of demonstration with the water bottle, with said water bottle pocket, you can drop your nice swell bottle or a 20 ounce soda, 20 ounce water into this pocket. Now you're not gonna get much more than a swell bottle into this thing. I used, when I carried this bag every single day, I dropped, instead of a bottle, I dropped a power brick into that part of the bag. Um, it was very useful and I would just run the cord out when I needed it. So it was like having charging on demand. Let's talk about the back of the bag. You have another drop pocket on the back side of the bag. Pretty good size. It runs down to the stop point on the bag. And inside the bag, you've got a lot going on. So you've got a nice gray high contrast interior in this bag. On the front side, you have a drop pocket, little easy grab pocket. On the back side, you have a neoprene tablet or laptop pocket. And it fits an iPad Pro in a Magic Keyboard case which didn't even exist at the time, just fine. It also fits any standard 
small laptop, not a 17 incher. This particular size of this bag was made for a 15 inch, or excuse me, a 13 inch laptop. They did make this bag in multiple sizes. And what kind of bag review channel would I be if I didn't have both sizes of the bag? So this is the larger size of the bag and everything is exactly the same, just bigger. You've got the same pockets. You've got the same stuff going on on the inside and it just fits a bigger laptop and it is a bigger bag. So two things that we love about this bag. Number one, the look and feel like this bag is cool and carrying it is cool. It sits really well uh, up against your side. It's a vertical messenger, which is a really underrated style in my opinion. Um, the carry handle is a really nice seatbelt material. Um, it's just got a great vibe to it. You feel good carrying this bag. Um, feels very utilitarian, very rugged, while still not being kind of overly tactical. Uh, it's not screaming concealed carry at all. It's still a tech focused look. Um, I really like the look and feel of this bag. The second thing that I really like about this bag is um, the, the, the organization and number of pockets. Having the two drop pockets on the front, in effect, the two drop pockets on the side, the smaller drop pocket in the middle, the cavernous interior of the bag, and the neoprene laptop um, sleeve, it, the organization is just absolutely on, on point for what you need on an everyday carry that is tech focused. So uh, organization and layout, five stars for Blue Lounge on this. All right, two things we don't like about this bag. The first thing is these deep front pockets and back pockets, I love them. And on this larger size, they're amazing. On the smaller size, they don't fit quite as much as you would want them to fit. And if you have bigger hands, you're gonna run into problems. And so like when I toss my AirPods down into the bottom of this one, it, it is tough and I'm finding myself leaning the bag over, tipping the bag over, etc. So I end up using this pocket for my AirPods and I use this only for taller items like an umbrella, etc. which is not the, the best use of space. So that vertical pocket, not wonderful. The second piece that I don't necessarily love about this bag is the decision they made with these side pockets. So what they did, this is gonna be maybe a little tough to see, but they've run the pocket down to the stitching on the bottom here and all the way up to um, where the, the bag attaches. So where the handle attaches to the bag. So why is that a problem? Well, here, here's why. It is very hard, you may have seen me struggling earlier, to get the water bottle in and out around the strap itself, especially when you're wearing the bag, okay? What could they have done differently? They could have run the pocket down another three or four inches, included some space around the base of the bag, or just made a slightly shorter pocket by about three inches so that it wasn't up against the clasp itself. By the way, this strap is particularly good. And in fact, it is so good that a when I get a bag that doesn't have a good strap, I've sometimes robbed this strap off of this bag and brought it to the other bag just because I enjoy how well made this is and how kind of no nonsense it is. So Blue Lounge, a bag company that stopped making bags, unless there's something new that I don't know about and I'll check that website. Um, but their stuff was really good. And I brought along, one more bag just to show you how cool this company was and how awesome their stuff was. So this is a messenger style bag that they made in a burnt orange color. I mean, look at how awesome this thing is. Beefy buckles, you've got a tech pocket up front, a drop pocket. The whole bag is kind of a cushion neoprene. Inside the bag, no organization at all. It's just toss in the laptop and let's go with this thing. 
the drop pocket up front, but beefy buckles, beefy. The Believe it or not, the strap on this bag with these beefy metal buckles weighs more than this entire neoprene messenger bag section. So it's designed toss in some, some tech, strap it down, and, and hit the road. So another example of a cool product from Blue Lounge, you know, a, a company that I wish was still out there jamming and making bags because they made some cool stuff, um, underappreciated for sure. So Blue Lounge product designers, if you're out there, I'm loving what you did. I'm loving what you did. I wish you were still out there crushing it, making bags. Um, so should you buy this bag? Yeah. Yeah. Not only should you buy it, you should hurry before all the places to buy it dry up. I'm going to drop a couple of links in the video description. Go get this bag before you can't get this bag. Um, I think you're really going to dig it. So I think you can get it for about 50 bucks. Originally it was a hundred dollar bag or more. Um, I'll drop the link in the video description and in the comments. Go get this bag. It's good stuff. Thanks, Wanderers. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, like it. And if you're new here, please subscribe and check out my other channel, Bit of a Wander. It's where we explore and put these bags to good use. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time.